I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Kintivar Exploration has completed the summer drilling program on the MLI corridor and released additional results from its surface exploration program on its Wabash project. Its 100% owned flagship project, the Michi Wabash Copper Silver District, is located 100 kilometers north of the town of Mont Laurier and 15 kilometers east of the town of Poron in Quebec. Both properties, which cover an area of more than 300 square kilometers, are accessible by a network of logging and gravel roads, with access to hydroelectric power already on site, major regional roads including railway and a spur. A 1,502-meter 12-hole drill program was completed on the 1.5-kilometer long MLI corridor. The objective of the program was to target the high-grade mineralized horizon that was observed in hole WAB2121, which on March 24th reported 1.01% copper and 19.3 grams per tonne silver over 16.8 meters, and to better understand the stratigraphic sequence along this corridor. The majority of the drill holes successfully intersected the same stratigraphic sequence that includes several marble horizons, up to 20 meters in thickness. This fertile sequence can reach thicknesses of up to 70 meters as observed in some drill holes. Low-grade copper and polymetallic horizons are observed more to the east of the MLI corridor and followed by high-grade copper and polymetallic horizons to the west, similar to the sequence observed in hole WAB2121. The drilling program followed up on the success of the early summer trenching program. Lara West and Lara South trenches exposed the high-grade units on surface with a channel intersection of 12.7 meters with 0.71% copper, 30.1 grams per tonne silver, 0.23% lead and 0.16% zinc on Lara West, including an interval of 1.21% copper, 42 grams per tonne silver and 0.19% lead over 6.65 meters. Other high-grade grab samples from both trenches included up to 2.9% copper, 170 grams per tonne silver, 1.78% lead, 0.33% zinc, and 0.11 grams per tonne gold. A small regional exploration program on the Wabash project continued throughout the summer. The team mostly focused on the large soil anomaly to the southeast of the MLI corridor, and it successfully identified both mineralized outcrops and boulders. Some of the best results gave up to 4.79% copper, 13.4 grams per tonne silver, 0.29 grams per tonne gold, and 0.12 grams per tonne cobalt, while some assays are still pending. Other regional targeting programs are continuing throughout the summer and fall to try to identify other corridors similar to MLI. Carol Mugaman, President and CEO, stated, The MLI corridor was a priority target for this summer, and it has delivered. The stratiform sediment hosted mineralization was successfully traced for over one kilometer in the most recent drill holes, confirming our interpretation. The assays from this program will help us better plan the follow-up infill drilling on the MLI corridor as we keep advancing throughout the entire unit. Once we receive these results, we will start planning the next drilling program, which will most likely take place this fall or winter. Kintavar supports local development in the Michiwabash region where it owns and operates the Ferris Chevelle Outfitter, a profitable and cash flow generating operation where it employs a local workforce. The company also works with local First Nations to provide training and employment. Kintavar also has exposure in the gold greenstones of Quebec by advancing the Anik Gold project in a partnership with IM Gold and several early stage projects that were optioned by Giddens Exploration. The shares are trading at seven cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, kintavar.com. Contact Carol Mugaman, President and CEO at 450-641-5119, extension 5653, or email kmugaman at kintavar.com. I'm Ebony North for Investment Pitch Media.